For this video, we're going to be going into the Ninja Integration Guide. Now, to first find the integration, we're going to go into our account admin, then integrations here. So from there, we're going to identify which exactly program we're choosing, in this case, Ninja RMM. We have our Connect to Ninja, the items that we're going to need, like the client ID, client secret, which we're going to switch into Ninja following this immediately and pull those into here, showing you exactly where to find those items. Currently, we are in our Ninja environment, so we're going to pull the info that we referenced before. To find that, we're going to go to our apps in the administration section and the API. What we're looking for is the client apps ID. We're going to have to make a new one. Clicking the add button here, we now get to de determine the application platform. In this case, it's going to be API service machine to machine. From there, we get to add a name, we'll call this Ninja Guide. And from there, we do not need a URL. What we do need is monitor and manage. Unclick the code and change this to client credentials. We're going to save it from here. And this will prompt us with our secret key. We are going to need to save this, place it somewhere safe. Or in this case, I'm going to immediately add it to my integration area, copying this in here. Once we leave this page, this key will no longer be accessible. So be sure that when you do, you have it properly secured and safe somewhere else. I'm going to exit out of this and we're going to hit close to find our client ID. Going down to the Ninja guide, I can just click this copy button here. Back into my Ninja instance. Save that here. Now for the next part, if you do have an endpoint, this will be something that you already know. In this case, I do not need one, so I won't select this. If you have one selected and you're not sure if you do need it, this will cause a test connection error. In this case, I do not, so I'll leave this blank. I do want to bring over my devices, so instead I'm going to hit my save settings. Now we're going to test our connection. We do have a successful connection, and that means that we can start our sync. If you don't have a successful connection, be sure to repeat those previous steps. Make sure you don't have a region select that you don't need and go back to the test connection. Don't start the sync until you know this is successful or this will cause problems down the line and the integration won't work. Now that we've had a successful test connection, we're going to start our sync. Give it a moment and then we're just going to skip forward. And here we have a couple matched companies. Clicking into this button here, we can see the name coming in from Ninja and what Hoodoo was able to match it with. In this case, we do have both of these existing within Hoodoo. On the off chance that you don't have this company already, Hoodoo will automatically build a new company for you using the name coming in from Ninja. So we're gonna hit accept match for now. We can change the match if we want or build a new one here we can see changing the match at any point. I'm going to go back into our Ninja RMM. We're going to stop and restart the sync just to give it an, more time to pull in more info. After the sync, we didn't have any devices come in, so now we can get into our edit settings, scrolling down and to our sort rules. So here we already have one built. I know that I'm looking for my Mac server, and this is going to be what we are able to identify from Ninja, and then on the right side, the asset layout that exists within Hoodoo. So the device that was missing was a Mac server, which I've then added and will populate on the next sync. If we have more devices that we're looking for, we can add additional sort rules as we see necessary. If you'd like to know exactly what type of item you're looking for, we can go back into our Ninja instance and find that. Going into Ninja, we can find the device that we're looking for to see which filtered settings. So I'm going to click on Tesco. And here we have different types of items. So we can see the type right here, Windows Laptop, Mac Server, Mac Laptop. Going back into our edit settings here, and scroll down. And we were looking for those other items. So we can add that from there as we want. Now, in this case, we already do have a Mac server connected. So I'm going to save those settings. Restart the sync. Skip forward again. And now we have our Mac Pro 7 coming in that we saw before. At any point, we can click into this and reassign it however we want. Resyncing if it updates in Ninja, 
rematching the card and building an entirely new asset to whichever layout we'd like. Or we can even match it to an existing asset here. Again, if anything is not coming through, make sure that your test connection is working. We can stop the sync at any point, test that connection, and make sure that everything is going through okay. At any point throughout your instance, you will have access to this button, and you can refresh all of your integrations that you see here right now. And we have this starting, so we can't exactly restart a non-active sync. If you have any more questions, please feel free to comment down below, reach out to us at support at hoodoo.com, and let us know what is going on. Thank you.